This is the Land Dominator of America, which shocked the entire world upon its debut. Just one connecting rod is thicker than a thigh, allowing it to accommodate a 24-cylinder, 117-liter displacement while producing 3,550 horsepower, and it operates at the extreme under 400 short tons. Eh? Caterpillar was once the world's largest mining heavy-duty truck. The vehicle is equipped with four-wheel independent suspension and nine sets of cast swords, with an overall length exceeding 11 meters, which once brought the weight of the main beam to 28,000 kilograms to stabilize the load and impact. High-strength, low-alloy materials are generally chosen as the main raw material during the initial design phase. Then everything is placed into the furnace, and with the use of three electrodes, the 2200 degrees Celsius electric arc melts the metal, taking only 150 minutes to bring the scrap iron to the required 1650 degrees for casting. As a split casting, the beam has an extremely long cooling time, often taking 36 hours to completely solidify and turn into solid iron blocks. Generally, cast iron castings do not require secondary heating. However, the beam in front of us requires tempering at a high temperature of 900 degrees, which is clearly the only way to extend its lifespan under split welding. Once the casting preparation is complete, each position is cut using a CNC lathe. In fact, ordinary beams are basically formed by integral extrusion. Assembly is convenient but it also exposes another problem. Repairs are too complex, and if replacement is needed the entire vehicle must be disassembled. For the 797B which weighs as much as 623.69 tons, this is clearly not feasible, so it is assembled like building blocks. Even if a certain part breaks, only a section of the vehicle needs to be replaced. It seems Caterpillar also understands the principle of making the most of resources. Up to this point, we have a complete truck that, just from its appearance, might not seem as heavy as imagined. But in reality, it has a net weight of 28.8 tons. According to a master welder, there are many intricacies involved here. Each layer of weld must be pressed into the gap of the upper layer, stacking layer by layer to avoid forming air pockets. Of course, this step alone is far from sufficient. Engineers also need to use ultrasound, aided by sonar principles, to conduct a three-hour floor detection. No matter how deep the floors are, they can all be identified one by one. Only when all standards are fully met will it proceed to the next stage. During painting and coloring, everyone must be fully equipped, ensuring no skin is exposed. The key is the use of disposable protective clothing, which is replaced after each use, making it seem as if they are conducting experiments in a laboratory. Such protection is something that perhaps 50% of countries still cannot achieve. Now the raw material used for making tires is natural rubber. Workers first flatten each tread and lay them together, stacking them layer by layer, reaching a height of 4 meters and a net weight of 5 tons. It's important to note that this is more than three times the weight of an ordinary private car, and it remains the largest single tire in the world. According to Caterpillar, just one of these is valued at $65,000, which is equivalent to over $400,000 RMB. To meet the 3,150 horsepower requirement, its power source is also quite complex. This is the working principle of the engine cylinders, where the pistons are connected to the connecting rods to compress air. The injection and combustion cause the piston to move downward, driving the crankshaft to rotate, which then transmits through gears to propel the entire 623-ton vehicle. And it's not just about the vehicle body. Hey, take the connecting rod in the video, for example. Its length is more than three times that of a pickup truck's connecting rod. Even the thinnest part is thicker than a wrist. Next, the crankshaft. The weight is as much as 500 kilograms, and at this time, its rotation speed is less than 2,000 revolutions per minute. Once it exceeds 2,000 revolutions, it may damage the engine. This is due to the unique 24-cylinder twin-turbocharged diesel engine of the 797B, despite having enough horsepower and cylinders in the body. But it still needs to convert high RPMs to low-speed high torque to drag the hundreds of tons of the vehicle body forward. In fact, the truck's driving speed is relatively low, but compared to a four-axle truck, the RPM is not low. Now the pistons are being prepared for installation, and the entire process is assisted by robotic arms but completed manually. Moreover, to ensure quality, the position usually involves three employees working together to improve efficiency and also ensure that each component is properly installed. At this point, the engine takes on its general shape and the exterior is thoughtfully sprayed with a layer of paint, which seems to be Caterpillar's signature color. It appears that there is a special understanding within the industry, as both domestically and internationally, the predominant color is uniformly yellow. Next, we move into the cockpit, which looks particularly compact compared to the components that weigh tons. And yet, it is equipped with an incredibly comfortable pneumatic seat. This adds a bit of joy for the driver in the cramped space. Pneumatic seats are standard for trucks, but they might be more comfortable for long-distance travel. Next, the final component, the truck body, is manufactured with an overall length of nearly 10 meters. If calculated by space, it can fit 96 medium-sized SUVs. However, due to its large size, the body is also assembled from multiple steel plates, each with a thickness of over 2 centimeters. Then, screws are used to tighten both sides, and all edges are welded in place one by one. Can you believe it can hold 363 tons of ore? Even the 100-ton King can only be considered a little brother in front of it, as this vehicle can carry half of its own weight. But this was only the largest in the past. Now it has been surpassed by the Bloss. I wonder if anyone has heard of this model. It is currently the world's largest mining dump truck under Russia, with a maximum load capacity of 450 metric tons, which is a full 90 tons more than the 797B. 
Let's return to the video, where the footage shows the assembly of the body with the box. There aren't overly complex accessories at the back of the vehicle. There are only two unusually heavy pins used as the main fasteners, and the reason for their abnormality is the installation. It is said that to install them, it takes at least 20 hammer strikes to get it done, which shows the role they play. Now let's take a look at the close-up footage. Every time you enter or exit the cab, you have to climb the stairs. From here, it might not seem significant, but when we move the camera to the front for comparison, it becomes apparent. Do you know how astonishing the fuel consumption of this dump truck is?